Today we are going to talk about defibrillation in cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR as a help for the defibrillation. Now what is basically defibrillation? Defibrillation is a process in which a shock or electric shock is passed to the heart and the rhythm of the heart is restored. Now basically what defibrillation is used for? Defibrillation is basically used for uh, ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia which are the most important shockable rhythms. In our last lecture basically we discussed the ventricular fibrillation. We discussed ventricular fibrillation and we discussed that ventricular fibrillation is a uh, uh, most important one of the most important of causes of death after acute coronary occlusion or acute myocardial infarction or heart attack now what happens in ventricular fibrillation is that the impulse the impulse is so much disturbed in the heart that there is no proper contraction there is no proper contraction of the heart rather there is just vibration of the heart and there is no proper pumping and cardiac output and Ventricular fibrillation can basically lead to death within minutes if it is not treated. Now to treat ventricular fibrillation, one of the most important treatment option is a defibrillation. And what is done in defibrillation is uh, an electric shock is passed through the heart with the help of electrodes and the rhythm of the heart is restored. Now defibrillation can be used uh, alone or it can be combined with the uh, pumping, hand pumping uh, or when the the heart is basically pumped from with the help of hands and that is then considered as cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Now defibrillation can be used in uh, most commonly in ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia. Both of these are basically considered as shockable rhythms. Shockable There are a lot of other abnormalities in the heart which are basically not shockable and in, in which an electric shock cannot be given to the heart. Now what, what the defibrillation does to the heart? What electric, uh, defibrillation does to the heart? Normally in the ventricular fibrillation uh, we know that in the heart in the heart there are some areas which are in the refractory period. For example, the green color areas, they are in the refractory period and some of the areas are not in the refractory period. We have discussed in detail uh, uh, the ventricular fibrillation in our last uh, two lecture and you must watch uh, those two lectures to properly understand the ventricular fibrillation. So what happens in the ventricular fibrillation that there are different uh, pockets of uh, refractory areas in the heart and the impulse keeps on moving round and round which is basically known as the circus movement and the, 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 the impulse the, which is not normal it keeps on entering different areas of the heart that is known as re-entry and it leads to a vicious cycle in which there is no proper pumping of the heart there is no proper contraction of the heart and there the different areas of the heart basically uh, contract at their own will with a uh, different rhythms so there is almost zero cardiac output what defibrillation does is that when a shock is passed through the heart the whole of the heart the whole of the heart is basically the whole of the heart is basically put into refractory period the whole of the heart goes into the refractory period for 2 to 3 seconds and after 2 to 3 seconds then the hearts uh, come out of the refractory period and it starts beating with the sinus rhythm it starts beat, beating with the sinus rhythm so what is defibrillation defibrillation process is basically the passage of electric shock to the heart so that it uh, uh, put the heart into refractory period the whole of the heart and in defibrillation uh, a high voltage current is basically used a moderate voltage of uh, a more a moderate voltage of current if uh, applied it can basically starts ventricular fibrillation it can start ventricular fibrillation but a higher voltage a strong voltage can basically bring the heart out of the uh, ventricular fibrillation and that is basically defibrillation so it uh, puts the heart in the refractory period the whole of the heart not uh, in the ventricular fibrillation there are small pockets of refractory uh, areas and some some areas in the refractory period some are not in the refractory period so impulse of the the normal impulse can go into some areas and not into the other area so there is no proper pumping 
the defibrillation process put the whole of the heart into the refractory area and current cannot pass through the whole of the heart for 2 to 3 seconds and after 2 to 3 seconds the heart starts beating with its sinus rhythm and the, the normal rhythm of the heart is restored and the the person can come out of the fibrillation ventricular fibrillation and can live a normal life now what should be the amount of current and for how long the current should be applied in the defibrillation process so normally 110 volts of 60 cycle alternating current for 0.1 second is used 110 volts of 60 cycle AC current for 0.1 second is used in defibrillation in one shock multiple shocks can be given but in one shock this is the amount of current another thing uh, or another way is 1000 volts of DC current direct current here it is AC current 1000 volts of DC current for 1000th of a second this is also uh, a voltage which can be used in defibrillation so these are different voltages uh, or the amounts of current which can be applied to the heart through through two different electrodes and which can basically help bring the heart out of the ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia which are basically shockable rhythms and start the sinus rhythm now there is a chance that once the sinus rhythm start the heart can uh, go back into the ventricular fibrillation or back into the ventricular tachycardia there is a chance but these are the condition uh, this is a uh, tre uh, uh, treatment modality which is used for ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia now if the heart if the heart has been in the ventricular fibrillation for a long time if the heart has been in the ventricular fibrillation for a long time and there are no no sufficient nutrient because the blood flow to the heart has through the heart has been stopped then defibrillation will not be able to re restore the sinus rhythm now what is done in that condition is that the heart is basically pumped with the help of hands the physician or the helping person may put their hands on the chest and will compress the heart from the chest from the above the chest and he will be compressing the heart for consecutively for 30 times 30 times and then give breathing mouth to mouth breathing to twice so this is basically a 32 30 compressions and then two breaths 30 compressions and then two breaths what's done is that the the chest is compressed uh, consecutively for 30 times and then two breaths are given mouth to mouth breathing is given and what does what it does is that it starts the blood circulation to the through the heart and some nutrients may go into the heart muscles and after that process defibrillation or a shock is given then this combined uh, pumping plus defibrillation is known as cardiopulmonary resuscitation so what is defibrillation defibrillation is a simple passage of electric shock through the heart to bring the heart out of the refractory period into the uh, sinus rhythm and or it may uh, used it is used for bringing the heart out of the ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia into the sinus rhythm which are basically shockable rhythms these are the conditions in which the defibrillation processes can be used so they are known as the shockable rhythms and during defibrillation the amount of current used is 110 volts of 60 cycle ac current for 0.1 second or 1000 volt of dc current for 1 by 1000 of a second and if the heart has been in a ventricular fibrillation or in the VF for a long time and there is basically deficiency of uh, blood or there has been no blood uh, circulation through the heart for a long time and there is a risk that so initially the cardiopulmonary resuscitation uh, or the, uh, the chest pumping is used uh, in which the heart is basically pumped for 30 times and then uh, two breaths are given uh, mouth to mouth uh, so that the uh, circulation of blood can start through the heart and the different areas of the heart can receive uh, blood and some nutrients and there is uh, a capacity in the heart that it can be revived and after that pumping hand uh, 
uh, pumping of the heart with uh, mouth to mouth breathing after that when shock is given then that process is known as cardiopulmonary resuscitation so that's all about uh, defibrillation and uh, cardiopulmonary uh, resuscitation which are basically the most important uh, treatment modalities used for treating ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia